Hello my soccer universe, here's another jersey that I did not expect wearing in a Women's World Cup highlight, well not highlight video, review video, <laughs> better said, Argentina. There were only two games today and not many goals scored, exactly one to be uh, exact, but on the other side there was a lot of action and the first game between uh, Japan and Argentina proved to be a nail biter. This was a game where I expected many many goals simply for the and you know I'm not the best expert on women's soccer but I follow it uh, closely enough to know that Japan world champions in 2011, Olympic uh, runner-ups in 2012 and World Cup runner-ups in 2015 on the last two occasions beating beaten by the US and in 2011 beating the US on penalties so Japan is a force in women's soccer and they're a little bit like Spain um, in the men's, you know, from 2008 to 2012, that they are all short, uh, with a nice passing play, usually very nice to watch. Um, I watched parts of the game, mostly the second half, and you know, um, not really attentive. We were having dinner at the same time, so I, I thought, yeah, I have it on my phone here if something happens, but I'm not going to watch closely. But what I could see is that Japan had a really hard time breaking down the Argentinian defense and the Argentinian girls were fighting for their lives and uh, putting in a super spirited performance that you just can have to commend them for that. Um, the longer the game went on, the more I really wanted Argentina to pull off the upset and even win it. And you could see that uh, they're number 10 and I'm not sure how quickly I will get that out now. Uh, yes, here we have uh, Banini, her Keta captain. I mean, she always, especially at the end, tried to take get takeaways from the Japanese, went forward, launched another attack. You could really see that she's the uh, glue behind the team that and this very inspired effort. And when the final whistle blew, it was really you, the Argentines were celebrating like they just won the World Cup. This was the first point for Argentina against the Japan team that, as I said, has quite a big pedigree as of late. And now looks to be a little bit in trouble. I mean, they have to play England and Scotland still, and I don't know what Argentina will be. This group looks to be an interesting one, especially with Japan and England in there. Uh, and if Japan needs a result, that might be interesting. On the other side, you know, it's not only the top two that qualify, also the four best third place teams. But yeah, this nil-nil draw, no goals, but probably one of the more exciting matches so far at this World Cup. The other game, I have not seen a thing from it. I just watched the statistics and so on. It was Canada against Cameroon with Canada winning 1-0. There was also the hit the woodwork in the first half, had a lot of possession, a lot of chances. And, you know, Canada is also one of those teams uh, that are maybe, you know, the second tier, maybe a little bit even below there, but you know, they are a decent uh, side. I, I, I remember the point when my opinion to the women's game really switched. Um, I mean, I watched before, but there was a point where it really switched, and this was in 2012, the semifinal between the US and Canada, where Canada took three times the lead. Um, the US came back to equalize and they won in stoppage time. Um, this was the best game in 2012 that I saw. This was an absolute stunning game. Uh, and at that point I really said, yeah, the women's game is something that's worth watching. Absolutely, absolutely worth watching. Before that I watched it because it was on and you know, it's a World Cup. I mean, you, you can watch it. I, I didn't think much of it, but that game really changed my, my, my perspective on things. So uh, I was quite excited about it. And you know, whenever I see a women's tournament, especially, in, I mean, it's national team level, mostly, exclusively, <laughs> that I watch women's soccer, but I actually enjoy it. And, you know, it didn't hurt that the Austrian women made it um, to the semifinals in Euro 2017. And their coach I see now almost on a weekly basis because his kids go to the same school as my daughter. So that's a fun fact. Yeah, but Canada hangs on to win 1-0 against Cameroon. Cameroon for the first time with Lecoq Sportif's jerseys. We only know Cameroon with Puma for the longest of time since 98, I think. So that will be for a jersey review. I'm already working on a jersey review. Um, expect it 
maybe somewhere midweek in the coming the first part the first part i mean it will be a six part video okay i'll expect a lot more goals tomorrow or today depending when you when you're watching there we have the new zealand against the netherlands i'm actually looking forward to watch the netherlands probably will pull it on at work uh to have that game we also have sweden play chile and the us against thailand i think that that should be the massacre i expect i expect it's a uh, sooner i think the us will put a few goals up there so i would expect goals tomorrow i uh, i will also do this is now you know on monday evening i will do uh tuesday morning i will do my euro qualifying update because there's so many highlights to watch that i just uh, can i cannot get to but you know let's do the women's game first because it was easy to that anyway give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this and i will talk to you soon bye hey there i really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did here are some videos and playlists that might be of interest to you too also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will give you all the updates on my channel, all things My Soccer Universe. And with that, I want to wish you a wonderful day.